Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Skull Session Recruiting Podcast brought to you by BuckeyeHuddle.com as our signing day class of 2024 recruiting capsules continue. Buckeyes trying to sign a whole bunch of talent today. Another big time receiver uh, joining the program. Uh, stop me if you've heard that before. We've, we've certainly said that a, a million times over the years. Mylon Graham, a five star prospect out of Indiana, has signed. Very interesting story here. Mylon came to Ohio State's camp before his junior year. We didn't know who he was. He had zero offers. I don't even know if Ohio State knew who he was, to be honest with you, coming into the day. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, he tore up Ohio State's camp. And this is why I respect uh, Brian Hartline is he's not just a star chaser. He's not just a guy who says, oh, who are the five stars? Let me go recruit those guys. He could have sat there and said, you know what? This kid has no offers. Why would I be his first offer? Let me see if like, you know, 20 other schools agree. Let me, let me at least get like Indiana or gosh, you know, a, a Notre Dame would be a good one uh, being a, an Indiana kid. Like, let's make sure like other big schools offer this kid. Nope. Offered him on the spot. First offer. Um, and that meant a lot to Milan. I think that's a big reason why they were able to get him and sign him. Kevin, uh, just do you remember back that you know, it's almost two years ago, just who, you know, scrambling, trying to find out who this guy was that no one could cover at Ohio State's camp. Yeah, I, I know I was there. I'm trying to put it all together. I mean, the thing is, is, um, you know, these camps are a cluster and a half sometimes and with no rosters provided to, to media, we're all scrambling. I do remember there being kind of a big buzz. It's like, oh my God, the kid got offered. Well, he should have. And um, you know, and he ends up being a five-star recruit. And uh, Ohio State certainly, did, I mean, proximity certainly helped of, you know, Ohio being a neighboring state to Indiana, but, you know, getting in first. And that's why I always laugh when I see some of these smaller programs be like 38th offer for some kids like you need to be first you need to be first and when Ohio State gets in first on a guy like that and it just fell into Ohio State's lap that he shows up at camp Ohio State's camp was at the right time and he just lit everybody on fire I mean he was just that good at camp and uh, Ohio State gets him and the rich get richer. I mean, you know, you just sit there and, and, and you, you look at stacking this class on top of the last class and just where everything is. And then, you know, what, what could be waiting ahead in 25. And I don't want to, I don't want to take the focus too far away from Mylon Graham and we'll get to some of his highlights here in a second. But you know, this is, this, this is a kid that in a lot of years would be the crown jewel of your recruiting class. And, you know, I don't know what order these are going to run in based in the time that kids actually sign, but you know, there's another, there's another kid in this class that certainly has got quite a bit of uh, ink as well, but uh, you know, Mylon Graham, n nothing to sneeze at. No, reminds me a lot of Carnell Tate actually coming out of high school. Uh, he's explosive. He's f super fast. I mean, watch him go here. Just takes a little harmless bubble screen and he is gone. Uh, just absolute big time sprinter speed in a, in a good size body. He's physical. He'll run through contact. He'll run through tacklers. He's a good run after the catch guy. Just a phenomenal route runner. He's got like, the feet that I, I just remember like Jerry Judy had these incredible feet coming out of high school and just would make these cuts and run these routes that you just couldn't believe. And Milan's got that ability too. just a, just an unbelievable talent. Um, again, I, I compare him very favorably. He's right up there with Carnell Tate for me coming out of high school. And I was not to pat myself on the back a bit. of I was, I was very much on the Carnell Tate train uh, in high school and, and kind of, pegged him as a guy who would come in and be hard to keep off the field early. And so I see the same type of traits in Mylon Graham and um, just an exciting, exciting weapon. Uh, the, the, the way that you're able to kind of get these guys in from different parts of the country right now for Brian Hartline, uh, he'll go to Texas, he'll go to Indiana, he'll go to Florida, just wherever they are. He just, he just finds them and, and seals the deal. But um, again, we assume Marvin's gone. Maybe emeka has gone. Julian Fleming's transferred. There's an opportunity here for Milan, I think, to play early. 
Yeah, absolutely. Because you look at the amount of production that's going to be gone. And, you know, we can talk about what we're projecting out of guys like Brandon Ennis and Carnell Tate and Noah Rogers and Bryson Rogers and guys like that. And maybe some members of the class of 24, but you're taking a lot of, you know, you're taking a lot of the production out and it's going to come down to who is going to be able to get out there and show that they are the most game ready. And, you know, Mylon Graham, certainly, you know, I've watched this tape many times and I mean, I'm, I'm impressed every time that I, that I watch it. I mean, he just seems somebody that is just, kind of built in a way to just, you know, excel in the, in the, in the collegiate game. I mean, he can run past you. He can high point the ball. Uh, you know, he's just seems to be really, you know, have, have some football smarts to him in terms of being able to, to, to get that separation. I, I think that he's somebody that very much could, could be in the mix. And, you know, I've always said this in terms of going into a program, opportunity knocks once sometimes it doesn't even knock because of just how how classes are built so you know if i'm one of these 24 guys i'm not i'm not i'm not sitting there and tipping my cap to the 23 guys and it's like i'll wait my turn no you're gonna go out there and you're gonna try and fight for those you know fight for those plays immediately and i think graham somebody who can get into that mix yeah and just like the other thing going back to the tate thing is polished like he's not raw as a route runner. He's not one of those guys, you know, we, we watched like Paris Campbell, for example, come out of high school, like, boy, he's going to really have to hit the jugs machine. Even someone like Terry McLaurin. I mean, Terry McLaurin had some, some stuff um, like his junior year of high school where he wasn't quite a natural pass catcher. He had to work very, very hard at it. I don't get that sense at all with Milan. Just seems like it's, everything seems natural and easy to him. And uh, just like it did with Carnell Tate. And that's why I think, Carnell was able to get on the field early is because he didn't have this huge steep learning curve. Now Carnell, I think did benefit from a year at IMG uh, in terms of speed of the game and everything like that. Uh, Milan, um, you know, maybe not elite competition where he's at in, in kind of like Northeast uh, Indiana there, but um, just someone who's dominated these, these camps and everything else though, and has shown that he's just an elite talent, um, you know, setting the table, for next year, how does Heartline keep doing this? Like, can, is 25 the year where it's like, oh, maybe a little bit of a setback? Heartline's a witch, I, I'm convinced. I guess it's a warlock if you're a guy. But, I mean, he he is a recruiting witch out there. And, yeah, there's always a conversation of, well, at some point you're going to have to, you know, slow down a little bit just because stacking class on top of class on top on top of class but you know with receiver and just the way that the game is these days you're not you're not generally just riding with a couple few guys and um you know i'll be interested to see if ohio state ever really is able to get a little bit more 50 50 in terms of run pass i mean obviously i mean like last year ohio state i think ran the ball 53% of the time and threw it 47. At least that's what it was going into the Michigan game. So I don't know how the numbers really stack up after that game. I didn't do a study into that, but um, no, I, I don't, I don't see any reason why, why top receivers are going to be, you know, a little timid about Ohio state just because of what's in 23 and what's in 24. Um, I think if anything, you're still going to see guys trying to get to Ohio state because elite competition is not afraid of elite competition. And that's really what it's got to come down to. Um, now, will it be, you know, will it be a class of a couple five stars and a top four star? I don't know. I mean, we can sit there and put together what our mock 25 class is today and it won't look anything like what the class really is outside of, you know, you know, Tavian St. Clair and, you know, maybe one or two other names and then everything else kind of goes sideways. But uh, no, I'm not betting against Brian Hartline. Yeah. It's like that breaking bad meme. You can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> it's like, it, it just seems like every year he somehow, some way puts one of these types of classes together, brings in five-star receivers and um, brings in guys and, no one's afraid of the depth chart. No one's ever afraid of the depth chart. Just uh, continues to bring guys who want to compete and get them on the field. I mean, we, we saw a couple guys get on the field early this year, and um, we'll see a lot of – I think we'll see a lot of them in the bowl game coming up. So just someone who continues to play the best guys and, and find the best guys. Um, so 
big signing for the Buckeyes, five-star wide receiver Mylon Graham in. Um, wide receiver U continues to be wide receiver U. Uh, we will catch you here soon again. We got more signings rolling in. Uh, st- stay right here with, on YouTube.com slash Buckeye Huddle for all of our recruiting capsules, and we'll have another one coming up soon.